To get an understanding of what it is that we are dealing with, I want to quickly touch on motion graphics itself and After Effects as a program. This is a very tricky combination of words because it has not just one simple explanation, but in the very generic language, motion graphics are graphic projects that simply move. Thousands of people try to explain what motion graphics is to them and how they see it as a part of the whole graphic design world. On one side I can find motion graphics are generally short pieces of time-based visual media which combine the language of film and graphic design. And this is a very short and precise explanation. Motion graphics use footage and animation to create the illusion of motion. So if I create something in Photoshop, let's say I place a text and then I make the text to move in some other application, I begin to transfer it into motion graphics. A bit later, when more tools of video editing appeared, motion graphics was considered a digital technique that combines pictures, words, sound and video. And in this blog post from Al Boardman, you see a few simple examples of motion graphic design. This is exactly what motion graphic design wants to convey in itself. It wants to explain a story, it wants to express something. Exactly as John Dickinson wrote a few years back, for me motion graphics is the satisfaction of executing an idea that moves people. And this is also something which should be on your mind while you are creating motion graphics. It cannot be told that motion graphics emerged in 2010 and people started using it, because moving graphics in cinematography were known for the past decade or even more. Even in older movies we have some introductions which show us motion graphics examples. Just like here in this video. We see different kinds of animations, but they are all related to motion graphics. One particular software which is dealing very good with motion graphics is of course our beloved After Effects. After Effects allows us to use all the tools Adobe brings us to create engaging, interesting and expressive motion graphics. Here is an example intro I've created once and I can freely say that this is an example of motion graphics because I have graphical elements like a background, like a video, like some text and it is all moving to become a motion graphics design. This is only one example of using After Effects, but After Effects of course goes far beyond that. This application is used by video professionals to create engaging motion graphics and cinematic visual effects. So you can add visual effects and correct your footage, you can create animations or you can combine all of those techniques into one piece of art. So I hope if you are watching this video you are excited to start learning After Effects because this is a really beautiful software which evolves from year to year and Adobe is making sure that it meets the current standards and it will be always up to date and one of the leading program in animation design on the planet. So I hope you are eager to jump in with me and diving deeper in the program. I hope to see you in the next lesson.